think everybody who steps into an octagon has to be a little bit crazy, right? Man, you don't find out you're a fighter until you get your ass kicked a little. There you go, good! I feel myself getting better. I'm hearing really good things. Oh, well, trust me, I still take my lumps. I'll be the first one to tell you, but yeah, that doesn't, that's not gonna stop me. I was sparring. I just heard a loud, wet pop. My gut told me that the way it popped and the way it sounded, the way it felt, that I was going to need shoulder surgery. What the f is that dude? The whole idea of me fighting. How's that? It sucks, kind of. Is it painful or no? I mean, just at the ends there, that pinching. Gotta work through it, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's gonna be some pain that you gotta work through. So prior to the injury, how was training going? Uh, it's going very well. That's why this is so frustrating to me. This has actually severely depressed me. I'm going across. Okay, down and back. And people are always trying to test you, you know, sure. and beat up the... They wanted a piece. Beat up, beat up the fake wrestler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It's Monday night, I was sparring, I was doing good. And it's probably the first time I was ever conscious of like, I'm doing good. And then I got hurt. All right, good. Yeah, no pain. Okay. I'm trying to see the positives in all of it. You good? All right with that. It's uncomfortable, but that's what I gotta do. No stretch. Yeah. The rehab wasn't fun, and I just felt like every day I wasn't in the gym in Rufus Sport. You know, I was I was losing daylight. silver lining of this is I get to rest everything else, which is good, you know, knowing that you can take the time off. <laughs> the cold was delicious. What the f Whose are these? Mine. No, just, okay. That's why I love you, They're clean. That's why I love you. They were in my purse. How's the shoulder? It's getting better. Really yeah, it's getting better. Acupuncture. Like, silly, aggressive physical therapy. dealt with some other injuries and things like that, but the fact that they say that he's not ready concerns me, and it shows that, listen, you don't just jump into the sport and say you're gonna compete. It takes time. 
Once again, you know, the man's too arrogant to admit he made a mistake. I think it was maybe proven something to himself, but I think all he's proven to himself is I'm in my late 30s and I am injured and the wear and tear in wrestling and my knees are not so great, my back is not so great. I didn't see this one coming. Humans, they love to build people up and then they love to tear them down. CM Punk, Phil Brooks, what are you doing? Are you trying to prove something? Everybody can talk all the shit they want, but they're not the one doing it. The only reason I don't respond is because I don't want it to drop to the, the circus level. I just kind of keep to myself and uh, keep my eyes on the prize. It would be accurate to say I was depressed when I got hurt. That three months, that was garbage. That, that sucked. I said I would would like to have fought in 2015, but it happens. My shoulder, I wouldn't say, is still 100%, but, you know, if I don't put it through the paces of what I, I do day in and day out, it's not gonna get 100%. You know, I gotta, I gotta put it under stress and I gotta tax it to know my limits with it. All right, your shoulders to left, right? One, two, Get. Get. One, two. Up, 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 boom, up. And that's when you can't get your shoulder hurt, because we're just gonna, like, yeah, because here, throw the cross at me. Bang, see how it's gonna put stress on it? Don't oh, drop your weight. Hey, so, oh, no, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Okay. Shrug, up, bang, see? Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's, it's good, it's good. It felt amazing to be back. It was just good to be back on the mats, you know? Me and your arms, so I'm, not, I'm heavy in his arms. Me, oh, shoot. You see it? There. Yeah, now don't worry about the spinning stuff, yeah? Let's get that fun. I know you want to get back, you're feeling it. Punch, cartwheel kick. Time. Good job. Good job, everybody. You're quiet, Alex. Why are you so quiet? Why? Because <laughs> it's you. How old are you? 17. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. uh, Annie. Annie? Yeah, I'm his aunt. Donating your time, which is never a big deal. That's the, the super cool part about being who I am. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Why? Why me? I don't know, just when I was young, I started watching you very young. Still young. Okay. You know, when I was like, I don't even know how old I was. When you were a baby? Yeah. <laughs> just like a huge wrestling fan? Yeah. 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 You like comic books, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. I, uh, you're a big Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanna, I wanna go to. Let's, let's go. Let's go to a comic shop because my, uh, my Drax number one came out today. Yeah. So I wanna kind of nerd out and yeah. be like, hey, <laughs> I wrote that. You guys buy Drax number one? No. Carry on. Mm -hmm. Wanna go in? Yeah. You ever, you ever read this one? You ever read Watchmen? No. Oh, no, I haven't. Right. Super, super recommends. Yeah. Gotta be a new releases section, right? Uh, All right, what are we looking at here? Is this alphabetical? Is this go by DC Marvel? What, what is this? You guys have uh, new releases out? Oh. There it is. Oh, there it is. I see. They positioned it all wrong. They stuck it in the corner over there. It's kind of. It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> Can't believe they stuffed my book way in the corner. Did you get your copy of Drax number one? No. It didn't interest me that much. No. For some reason, I don't know why. Anyway, some handsome writers on that book. And this is the one. Here, one for you, one for me. 
I'm just gonna read the pages I wrote, though. It's funny how there's no comic book writers or artists or anybody in the comic industry who has all heard about me writing comic books. It's just the phony tough guys. Anybody reading more comic books just because my name's on the cover of it and I wrote it, everybody's happy. Everybody watching more mixed martial arts and buying more pay-per-views just because I'm fighting, everybody's upset. It doesn't make any sense. I bought you uh, the Watchmen trade paperback too, because you have to read it. I'll have her hold on to this stuff. Thank you. Yeah. It's gonna get lost. Mine's in there too, don't let me forget it. That's something I was gonna do that day anyway, because that's the day it came out. But now I, I, I shared that with him. Nobody else in the world besides me and him have that story, you know? I think that's pretty cool. Being able to reach out and touch somebody that way, it's powerful. Those are the things that I think about. You good? Yeah. Happy with everything? Yeah. Thank you. Hey, man, it's flattering that you wanted to hang out with me. Yeah. You know, I appreciate it. So. They told me you were, like, really happy. Like, What's up? They said that you were, like, really happy. Like, yeah, and I mean, you know. I gotta, I gotta fight eventually, but like to me, you know, your fight's way more important. So it inspires me to wanna, you know, do better and, and everything too. So you know, yeah. So just stay strong, buddy. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. I love training. It's like playing chess with somebody. It's always going to be different. There's days you're going to lose. There's days you're going to win. But it's always challenging, and you always learn from it. Just putting everything together, obviously, I think is the hardest part. If you're just doing jujitsu, you just focus on that. If you're just kickboxing, you can focus on that. But it's, it's MMA. you got to worry about everything. All right. Come over here, team. We're gonna work at a takedown call a ankle peak takedown. I'm going to get him close. I'm going to pull him, make him step. I'm gonna step back and hit the leg, lift, and now ankle pick. His left leg in front, just hit right away. Nope, nope. You gotta make him step. Uh huh. Right? So I make him step, but I wanna hit the far leg now because that one's close to that ankle pick. Okay. Nice. see stripes today. Very proud to see a lot of people improve. Just stay sharp. Stay working hard. Dedication. That's the only martial arts that a piece of tape means a lot, you know. You do to you on a stripe, you know you're moving up. CM Pong, come over here, brother. A lot of respect to this guy, you know. Putting the kimono and being a white belt, no stripes. You know, I'm just proud. And that's the first one for you joining the weather. Where do you want to build this gingerbread house? I don't know. You want to do it on the counter? How much money is it going to cost to pixelate the penis you drew on my adorable gingerbread man? Why would you do this? He was so sweet and innocent. He just wanted to enjoy his brand new gingerbread house. Also, I've never done this before. So. Well, neither have I. Okay. It's an adventure. How does it stay together? Oh, look, there's directions. Oh, that might be helpful. Need slash massage icing pouch for one minute. Oh, I didn't do that. So this is gonna be a disaster. There. Right? Now there's three pieces. <laughs> or is that not supposed to happen? <laughs> well, where does this go? We'll find out when we complete step one. Front door panel. Separate. Ah, see? Separate Seven the two minutes. gabled pieces. I did it already. Whoa.
Yeah. The side collapsed. No. Oh, no. <laughs> so that was the trial run. Roof. What Christmas fun. Oh my god, yeah. Look at that. <sighs> okay, see? Oh, it's snowing. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. It actually looks really good. I feel like the property brothers should be really proud of us. I think you did. Exceptional. <laughs> oh, really? You did a good job. It was your first gingerbread. Huh? <laughs> it was good. You want to give Larry his present? I think so. I think Larry's asking to open a present early. You want to open a present, buddy? Come on. There we go. This is for you. Go ahead, open it. No, nope. we're still working on English. This is for you. I feel like he can sense it. <laughs> Good boy. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. <laughs> you got it! There you go, Larry. Everyone who thinks I'm worried about falling flat on my face uh, in, in front of a worldwide audience really doesn't understand uh, much of anything. I'm not scared about any of this. This is something that I, I want to do. And I don't care if people think you're crazy. I don't think if people make fun of you, what you say. As long as you back it up with your actions, you can say, I want to be the best. There's a lot of people on the team who, if, if you're putting money on it, yeah, they should beat me. To me, it's, that's the only way you get better. One and one. You're waiting for him to hit you. Hit him first. The cross off the inside kick. Keep working on it. Keep working to get it. I know it's hard. Yeah. Nice uppercut. Kick when he goes away. Don't chase him with your hands, Bob. I talk to these guys after. I say, hey, what did I do? What, what can I do better? And you know, every single time they offer up the information and the knowledge and they help oh. me. Oh, no, no, no. Here you go. Good. Put back in. Good. Keep the pressure on. There you go. That's just a way to show team solidarity, you know? I'm a part of the team. These guys accept me. And in a way, it's a, it's a middle finger to anybody who, you know, doesn't think it should be so. Shot right there, that surprised me. How do I do that? You kept trapping my hand and attacking the knee right there. That's good. So, see, way to turn what I was trying to use against you against me. See, you're at that stage where you know what to do, you're getting that, you let it happen. That's all a fight is. You gotta have a purpose. You know, I'm not gonna let this happen, I'm not gonna let that happen, or when I get here, I'm gonna control the situation. But we'll get it. Everything is going to get really real when we make an opponent. Training's one thing, it's cool, it's very casual, like all of our other students. There's the reality that's going to up your intensity. Two things are going to happen. You're either going to fold like a cheap lawn chair, or you're going to up your intensity. You know, going to the gym every day without a face or a target or a name or a fight, I think can be pretty tedious, and maybe make it feel like it's a job. Nothing's set in stone yet. Uh, I know it will be soon, and I can't wait. Are you serious? 
I've been called out by everybody. I've been called out by actors and cartoon characters and old fighters, young fighters. I guess I'm kind of a, a lotto ticket, so to speak. I think this is the guy that they're talking about. Then there's this kid, Mickey Gall. It's aggressive. But... And, and he wins his fight impressively. He finishes the guy. Matchup. Skill level. I mean, he's good, but I just think Punk's a tough dude. I mean, he's resilient. Now or never. I mean, it's time to, to, to unleash, you know. We, we got to go for it, you know. We got fundamentals working on fundamentals. Well, the, what I like is we know. It's the unknown so far has been yeah. tough. Well, what are we going to train? We can, You know, if we know. We do that habit. Today. Yeah, we, we got, I mean, we got a long time to game plan. Let's do it, man. Let's get this W. As much as uh, I'm a mystery to everybody else, this kid's a mystery too. He's the, the magical uh, golden ticket Willy Wonka winner. I welcome the challenge. If I don't prepare enough, I, I know an ass kicking's waiting for me. Speed switch. You want to be concerned as far as the stresses directly on your spine. 